Project Management Insights, providing project managers with professional development in the interpersonal skills areas of leadership, team building and communication. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Project Management Insights. In this next four episodes for this whole month of October, I'm going to be talking very much about people-related things. And these are based on some search queries or questions that have come up from my website. So stay tuned for those because each of them is a different aspect of project management. And yet, as I said, they're all people-related things. So in this episode, I want to talk to you, today I want to talk to you about engaging stakeholders from the early stage of and what the person's puts project planning and it's been interesting sitting you know thinking about what I'm going to talk to you about and I realized that from my perspective project planning in my world is one of it's like it's too far down the track in a way to begin engaging your stakeholders so first of all I want to touch on the fact that you should be engaging your stakeholders. You should be connecting with stakeholders as you are building your business case. Now you've heard me talk many times before about how your business case should be, a very strong business case should be the foundation of your project or for your project. And for me, it's very important that you engage with the right people as you are building your business case and gathering your business requirements. Because if you don't, then you, you've got a blind spot. You're in a space where you you have an unknown. You don't know what should be happening, who should be involved, the, the sorts of things that need to happen in order to make the change. And if you leave those people out in that early stage of your business case building, then you are likely to create huge problems for yourself and a lot of risk when it comes to delivering your project. Because all of a sudden... And I've talked to you before about the um, experience I had on a project where the finance people weren't engaged early enough in the project and we were making a change to a system and all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're more than halfway through delivery and find that the, the finance people should have been engaged because what we were doing had an, impacting on, an impact on invoicing for the organisation Well, I mean, it's too late. It's too late to be finding these things out when you're halfway through delivery. It creates lots of delays. It creates lots of problems. It, as I said, creates a lot of risk if we're not careful. And so you really, really need to understand the end-to-end process that you are working with, that you are going to be changing as part of your project. And in that end-to-end view make sure that you uncover and connect with the many stakeholders that are involved along that end-to-end journey. You need to make sure, use a RACI, work on a RACI, set up a RACI matrix to have all these people engaged so that you understand how they need to be involved, at what level they need to be involved uh, in your project. So are they people that need to to be informed only that they you know need that they just need to be told what's going on are they concerned about what's going to happen that they need to be involved in more involved in decision making are they the ones that need to be accountable for a certain part of the project being delivered or are they people that need to be responsible for the change? Now, there aren't normally as many people in the responsible space because that's normally you as the project manager. But stop and consider where are the people, where are the stakeholders or people that are part of this journey that you're on with this project. So getting them engaged at the early stage of project planning, that's a key piece too. If you've had them If you understand who they are at the start of your project through your business case and your business requirements building, then when it gets to planning, the right people will be involved in helping you map out your project plan and how long it will take or what's required 
what's needed in order to make the change that's required by the business. And so, yes, having these people engaged in planning is also very, very important because they will be able to tell you whether you're going to have problems with a legacy system. That means that instead of something taking you a couple of days, it's going to take a week. These sorts of things are things that these stakeholders need to be involved in. I think we get caught with the word stakeholders because it sounds so technical or official. And what are stakeholders really? They're only or simply people that need to be involved on your project in whatever way they need to be involved. So don't be frightened to get them involved. Don't be in fright, don't be frightened to talk to people. Don't be frightened to engage with people and ask questions. Is this, if I make this change, is it going to impact you? If we do this, what does that mean for you? Understand it because you are going to have more clarity and you, and again, I keep talking to you about clarity and how much clarity or creating clarity makes your life easier as a project manager. So the more that you engage and talk to the people that are involved in the business, in shifting and making the change for the business, the more that you engage with them, the more that you involve them in the process of building out your business case and your project plan, which has to start as part of your business case. Remember, you need that plan in order to understand what the cost is going to be. So you, 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 you can't not involve all of these people right from the start. And I think sometimes we think that when we're at the start of the project, oh, we just need to get on and build this business case and get it signed off and hurry up and get on and do the project. And it's a wrong, wrong way to look at it. Because the more time you take to build your business case in a way that means that you are engaging your stakeholders, your planning is actual and factual rather than pie in the sky and guess, guesstimation. The more that you have a more solid foundation for how much this is going to cost, the easier and smoother your project will run. And so you need to spend the time developing your business case at the start. Don't make the mistake of jumping into a project quickly and putting something on paper just for the sake of getting a project started. Wrong, wrong, wrong way to approach starting a project. So yes, get your stakeholders, engage your stakeholders from the early stage of your project, business case building, which involves project planning. Get them all engaged, get everyone on the same page, talk to them once you have built your business case and had it approved, get them all in a room for your project kickoff so that everyone can hear from that starting space exactly what the project's about, what the project is going to achieve if it's delivered successfully, and therefore how they're involved and what you want them to be doing. Because if you create this picture and build this picture with these stakeholders right at the start, again, you can have nothing but success. Leave them out at your own peril. You leave them off the table, you don't involve them. And as I said before, you are going to have things materialize that are going to create time problems for you, that are going to create cost problems for you, and that are going to possibly create problem big risks for you. And ultimately up, upend the successful delivery of your project. It could mean that your project won't even be delivered if you don't engage with these stakeholders right up front. So I'm sure by now you have gathered that it's really, really important to engage stakeholders up front right from the beginning of your project in that project, in the, in the business case building phase, and that itself leads into planning. So Consider it. Are you doing it enough? Are you engaging enough people at the start of the project? Are you engaging with the right people at the start of a project? Are you engaging and understanding their involvement and the involvement that they need to have by completing your RACI? And 
Are you working with them through the life of the project so that they can support you to ensure that the change that's made is actually successfully delivered into back into the business and back into the into the world wherever it is that that you're whoever it is that you're working with consider this and see how you go the next time you are working on a project and give yourself a rating of whether you're engaging your stakeholders enough during that whole process all right that's it for this episode of project management insights remember to like share and subscribe to the podcast if you're a pmi project manager remember to claim your cpd points from listening to this episode and i will catch you again next week for another episode of project management insights thank you for listening to this project management insights podcast be sure to visit projectmanagementinsight.com and sign up for our monthly newsletter or to receive updates on upcoming training.